Hey folks, welcome to the entertainment and media module. So I just want to take a brief overview of what the module is about and then I will get into more specifics as we go down through the rest of the course material. So maybe the first question I'll answer is why is it called the entertainment and media module? And it's called that because really this module is about looking at the industry as a whole. And when we look at the industry as a whole, particularly from an economic perspective, and we look through reports from the likes of Price Waterhouse and Cooper and other um, industry analysts, they refer to games, animation, VFX, uh, as well as music and public book publishing. They refer to all of that as the entertainment and media sector. Um, so really, the areas that we're interested in are a subsector of this larger overall industry. Okay, and we want to have a kind of an industry focus throughout the module both from a business perspective and from our own career perspective. Okay, so uh, to get a bit more specific then, within the module, we're going to take a critical look at the entertainment and media sector as a whole. We're going to have a specific focus on film, television, animation, games, VR, AR, all the areas that kind of tie into the subject matter that we looked at across the other modules. Uh, we want to try and keep the viewpoint of a producer. So we're not as interested in the artistic quality or the artistic content per se. We want to try and take off our artist hat for a minute and put on our producer hat. And we want to try and have an understanding of the kind of business trends that underset film and games. Uh, we want to look at things like tax subsidies, outsourcing. Uh, along the way, we'll take a look at uh, specific industries in detail. We'll also take a look at the idea of career pathways and different things that feed into our working culture within the industry. And that can be things like wages, it can be uh, work culture, it could be unionization, it could be things like freelancing uh, versus working on contract and things of that nature. Uh, we're also gonna to touch on the idea of personal aspirations or areas of particular interest uh, for ourselves. Okay, and we'll look at those in uh, specific classes as, as we go down through the module. Uh, and some of the assignments that are going to come up uh, relating to this then will be uh, you're going to have to do an industry report. Um, so we're going to look at the specifics of certain industries and then you're going to do a case study report of uh, particular companies that you find interesting. And that will help you to analyse the market and have an understanding of what's happening out there currently. It should also hopefully help you to define maybe a bit of a career path or a bit of a career direction. So we're going to take a look at you guys doing a portfolio demo reel and or looking at work experience. So we need to be flexible here because I know all of you guys have different um, individual circumstances right at the moment. Some of you are in full time employment. Some of you are uh, out of employment at the moment and looking for work. So we need to have a certain amount of flexibility in how we're going to handle that particular brief. And so I'm going to try and facilitate that in the broadest possible way to give people flexibility. Um, so if you have an opportunity to go on work experience, we can facilitate that. We can try and facilitate you within your current workplace and hopefully try and tie in some of the things that you might have learned on the course back into your current working day. Um, if you're very busy in work and it's not going to be possible to try and build in some of the things that you've learned on the course into your day-to-day -day work, it's a po it, there's going to be a possibility of taking on a demo reel assignment instead where you can organize the current material that you have into a reel that you could send off if you're, for example, considering a career change within your current workplace. Okay, so there's going to be a good bit of flexibility in that brief. And then the last section that we'll look at will be an area of personal research or personal interest, right? Uh, and that could be, they could be looking at things, for example, such as uh, historically, maybe a piece of animation or VFX that you're particularly interested in, um, current trends that you feel are relevant to the industry or emerging trends or future technology that could have an impact, areas that you might have a personal interest in uh, that could help you define what area of the industry that you would like to go into. So hopefully that gives you a very, very high level overview of what the module is about and what you can get out of it. And hopefully uh, it gives you a good idea of the practical kind of assignments that are coming your way. And we'll get into more detail in terms of the individual briefs as we go down through those. And then we'll cover, uh, we'll cover different snapshots of the industry uh, through the classes and through the videos that I'll provide.